everyone. Joy here again with my newest journal. This is a Christmas journal this time. And I have this beautiful image. And down here, I, I you can see a few deer here and there. Those little gold deer that are hanging out there. I put a few charms on the bottom of this. This is a two signature journal. And I added some burgundy uh, looking trim over here to kind of accent that. It has some hug snug seam binding as the closure here. Let's get into it. It's such a pretty journal. It's kind of eclectic. Um, I took some images and I added, as you can see, I can added some little bit of uh, sparkle stuff on top of it to make it look more authentic in here. Now in this, I did put a belly band on it, a clear belly band. This image is really cute oh my goodness i backed it with some christmas scrap paper now whoops this is i just kind of went with it you know usually around christmas we have popcorn or, you know or we're making popcorn for our tree and i used some coffee dyed paper this image is from junk with steph it was actually not christmas at all but it reminded me of christmas so i stuck it in there um, I used Tim Holtz's little, um, what do you call that? Oh, all of the little stars is from one of his new, new ones. And I, I used quite a few of these older images. I just think they're really cute. I added a little scrap cluster there. Now this will be in my shop. You can find it at JJ with Joy on Etsy. That was just a digital and made a little scrap cluster there. Added some shine, shine, sparkle shine. You know we gotta have our shine. Just have a little flip there on the rest of that. Now Rita Taylor had made this. I purchased this from her. It just says um, Merry Christmas down here on a little charm. I thought it was really cute. Love it. There is another uh, little image there of a cute little vintage looking snowman. More digitals. I just used random digitals. I was trying to use up my um, digitals that I have left over from other projects is what I was doing. So this turned into quite a project. Was not intended to do so, but I thought, what the heck? We're just going to do it. And this is true vintage wrapping paper that I put on top of some other scrapbook paper here. But I just thought that was really cute. I've saved it for, I can't even tell you how many years. I've probably had it since my childhood. So that's a long time, y'all. And now here we go with uh, vintage Father Christmas. I love this little image here. And I thought it went very well on this page. This is a junk with stuff. I do know that. She is on Etsy as well. She's having a huge sale. Um, well, I think it's still on. Let me get over there. There's some more and cute little getting their tree out in the forest. And there's another one of those digitals from that same kit. I just, um, this is some Christmas paper. It says, we uh, welcome the holidays was the name of it. Sorry for my cat if you can hear him. He hears my voice and he starts screaming. He's talking to me. He thinks I'm talking to him. He's a silly goose. I love this gold fabric. It's so pretty. There's another Father Christmas image in there. And here we go. And I, that just had those. I didn't want to cover them up. But you're welcome to cover them up if you don't care for that. This little kid is adorable with his new little Christmas present. And I just had to add this in, this little village with the mice. I just think that's a cute. I hand stitched this on the edge here. And then the last page is this. And I did leave this blank because I really do like that. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. And I appreciate it. And if you would and could give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, you can ring the bell if you'd like to hear more from me. I thank you for coming today. Remember your day is full of choices, so choose joy. Have a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas.